Hey, how are you guys? What is going on? Welcome back to the Resident Rise server here today with Snorsby episode number six in our series here. Uh, there's been a few changes going on around the base. First of all, you can see this massive hole in the ground. And uh, that's probably because of what we're going to be doing today in the first part of the episode at least. Um, but I'll get onto that in a minute. I just wanted to quickly show you guys the changes here. Now, last episode we had our sheep going here in the corner. And uh, I was playing around with it a bit off camera with the durability of the tools and whatnot, shearing the sheep. And I thought this is going to be sort of too hard to maintain over a long time. So I've converted it. So for now, everything's up on the roof here. And uh, it's all powering up. I haven't actually hooked this power up to anything on the other side, but hey, we can get to that at some stage. Um, so we're going to go through our pink wool. And uh, in the meantime, I am actually collecting a whole heap of the dye essence. Um, so if we grab a few of these, you can see that if we look at the uses, um, you can pretty much, pretty much make any dye in the game. And we're going to be end up making pink dye here, and uh, we're going to run our power off that instead. Um, just because this is a bit easier to make, um, it's pretty quick anyway, so we could probably expand this across the whole roof, and we'll still have enough pink dye getting made. You can see I'm also using one of the uh, time torches here, just to speed it up a bit. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, we got. there's going to be a process at some stage where um, I'll probably record this as well, but I'll put something down that auto-crafts these into the pink wool, which uh, into the pink dye, sorry. And then it'll go up into the generators. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but yeah, on to today's episode. We're going to get started with Applied Energistics because um, one of the plans is for down the track is uh, I've been meaning, we sort of got started on the, the generators uh, just because of this reason, but we're going to process all of this uh, ore and stuff that's getting, well, not the, not the ore itself, we've got to turn the essence into ore, and then into, um, yeah, we need to get refining for that because it makes it into the, uh, yeah, the ore, and we need to turn that into ingots somehow, and we need all the power, um, but yeah, we need somewhere for all of that stuff to go, and because my base is, uh, well, not the base itself, but because of the rate of uh, gathering, I guess, or farming for that. We need to have somewhere to store it other than these barrels here. So, we're going to get working on Applied Energistics now. You've seen one Applied Energistics system. You've seen it all. So, I'm pretty much going to just make a whole heap of stuff here. Well, we don't even need to make that much. Because if we come to our chest over here, you can see that I've already got a controller, um, an ME drive, uh, and some other ME stuff that we sort of found in dungeons. So, we don't really need to make that much stuff, which is awesome. So, we also got one of these 64k storage uh, buses here as well, which is cool. But I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves one of our uh, assembly chambers here that we're going to put in the middle. Essentially, what we're going to do is have it, to start off with, just uh, one, two, three, a 6x6. Six six. I'm pretty sure you can have it 6x6. Six six. I hope so. Um, and then have it three layers deep, so then we only got the one level. And then if we need to ever expand it, just keep dropping it down further and further into the ground here. And then uh, along the outside, because instead of storing he heaps of amounts of ingots in the uh, drives, we're going to use, like in the single player world, uh, deep storage units, can, which can hold up to 1 million or 10 million, one of the two uh, items. So that is going to be the plan. Uh, and then once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, split all of the um, sort of areas up down in the farm. Uh, let's fly down there. We're going to try and change these to 9x9s. Nine um, and then we're going to go, instead of having big areas dedicated to just one crop, we're actually going to convert this over so that we're using the time torches because uh, those things are awesome. Oh, it looks like this guy's actually gone back and started filling this up. Um, and yeah, just, I'm too lazy to go make a whole heap more of these flesh golems. They're a good idea. Um, it's just while the torches are... Ooh, massive lag spike. Sorry for that, guys. Um... Yeah, while the torches are in and still working great, I want to convert everything over so that we're producing at max capacity. So, that is the aim for today's episode, guys. Let me go ahead and make a whole heap of stuff here for the Applied Energistic System. Hopefully, you guys are ready for this one. I'm pretty keen. Let's go. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sort of started making things here. Uh, I've got everything I think I'll need for the time being uh, to get started here. So, let's get into it. Um, let me quickly grab some energy conduit as well. Okay, so first thing you'll want to put down with any light energistic system is your ME controller. So I'm just going to smack that straight next to uh, our uh, assembly chamber here that I've outlined. So let's hook that up and you'll need to supply it with some sort of power. Now if you open this you can see how much power your system is using. 
Uh, have they used... No, they haven't got... Um, Redstone Flux yet, but you can pretty much convert MJ per tick to Redstone Flux per tick by just multiplying it by 10, pretty much. So we're using about 12 Redstone Flux per tick at the moment, which is hardly anything. Um, okay, so once we got that, I'm planning on putting... Well, actually what we could do, now that I think about it... Actually, scrap that. We're going to go for a different plan here. <laughs> we're going to go with ME Controller here. And then underneath that, we'll start our drive bays. Now, I'm thinking I'll just go for drive bays here and then here to start off with. Um, so let's go chuck four of those in here. Non-formatted um, or anything. Just for some initial sort of storage. Uh, so they're sitting there all nice and good to go. So, uh, next thing we'll want to put is our ME crafting terminal. Now, I want to put it sort of in the same spot over here as our normal crafting table. So, may as well just whack him straight here. So that can... Mm, which way? Is that better or... Let me have a look. This might look a bit better. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Um, so now we can come underneath. Oh, it's here. Okay. And we'll run some of this ME cable. Now this is what hooks everything together on your ME system. Oops. Alright. Uh, let me try and get out of here. I've actually put some uh, elevators in from open blocks. So once the... Uh, this is all connected and whatnot that we can still get through. Let's patch this hole up real quick. Oh, one neat feature. Okay, so if you middle click while looking at a block, I did not know this, but it'll actually put that block in your hand if uh, it's in your inventory, which is awesome. And I think it works. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I didn't really even realize that, and I thought that was pretty awesome. And I thought you guys might want to know that. Um, anyways, back to what we were doing, putting this cable down. Ooh, bit of lag there. This will be fine. It'll connect up... Um, once we've got this chamber. So let's get this going as well. So I've made all of our heat vents here. Let's just go ahead and lock these back in the uh, bottom here. Last season on the single player, I made a pretty big chamber to start off with and I realized that, well, we could have made a relatively small one to get going and then go from there, but oh well. <laughs> this is what we're going with here. So let's do that and then we can hook these two together using these cables as well. So, wow, the server lag is... Definitely uh, around today. Okay, now let's get out of here and patch these two things together. Um, we we'll want to put our crafting CPUs and our pattern providers. So, the amount of your crafting CPUs in the assembly chamber here uh, determines how quickly it assembles things when it auto-crafts, funnily enough. Oh, I've made nowhere near enough. I've made it for a 3x3. Three three. Oh, I'm going to have to go make some more. Alright, I'll come back once I've got a few more crafted up here. So I ended up making all of the uh, remaining crafting CPUs and pattern providers here. So, what's left is our heat vents. So let's plonk these guys down on top. Oop. And that should be everything we need for our assembly chamber here to get started anyway. And bam, there we go. That actually looks pretty awesome in the floor, I'm not going to lie, I really like that. Especially with the edge of the texture here. It looks pretty nifty. Alright, let's go downstairs, have a look. These should be connected, awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's see how much. So now we're up to 5.9 MJ per tick. Um, which is a little bit more, but definitely not straining our system at all. Come over and have a look here. Definitely not <laughs> not putting a strain on it. That is for sure. And, uh, okay, so. Next thing. We should be able to see in here. Yep. Access terminal is good. Okay. What I'm going to get going on with next is... We need to go ahead and make a whole heap of deep storage units. And I'm going to start by putting them probably along these walls here or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to teach our assembly chamber here how to cro uh, craft stuff. But we are like down to our last quartz here, which is a bit annoying. So I might go ahead and get our crops growing for that. I don't know. Let me do a few things off camera here, guys. And I'll come back when we're ready to keep going on what we're working on. Alright, so I've started to move all my stuff over into my Applied Energistics sort of network here. And uh, I thought, next thing, we'll probably start uh, making some deep storage units to go put all of our cobble and stuff in. So, end up looking up the recipe for it, and it has been modified to be so much more expensive. <laughs> uh, you need four of these reinforced strong boxes, so you need a whole heap of hardened glass. Um... Which, and then you, in turn, need a whole heap of invar for the strong box. So, that's a bit annoying. Um, 
But that's that. And then you also need to get Tesseract frames that are full of resonant ender, which is not hard to get for us at this stage, but man, we need the diamonds. So what I'm going to do, instead of keep working on this today, we're going to convert our um, farms down here into 9 by 9s and uh, put the time... Um, time torches down in here and make it a bit quicker so uh we need to sort of disable this i'm going to start here at this first one and move along and uh see how we go we got all the ender ones here so we're going to need those that's for sure um oh that's right i just harvested some of that before that's why it's replanting no worries though all right so let's go disable our power all over to this left hand side here by right, getting rid of some of these this is probably i'm going to need to probably clear out a whole heap more space down here for this but and also, we're going to probably have to make um, some Tesseracts to send our power from our main base over here. Because all that's running this area at the moment is the um, windmill that I found in the dungeon outside. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, this is bad. <laughs> Please be no more energy. Good. Oof. That's lucky. <laughs> Alright, let's clean this up. So, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, uh oh. Alright, that was bad too. Let me plug this hole up real quick. Um, but yeah, the plan is... Um, we get back outside real quick. Let me just light all up in here. Yeah, the plan is to make these 9x9s and then if we look at the interface here for the planter, you can see if, uh, if it'll open. There is nine different slots here. So this will be a 3x3 area. This will be a 3x3 area. This will be a 3x3 area. So you'll have essentially nine crops growing in this one area here now if you look at the um magical crops you can see that there is a whole heap of seeds here now i haven't actually counted how many there are let's see one two three four five six there's 12 so three um there's even more so there's a, you can see there's a few um so we're going to be able to put a lot of these all on this one side here and uh, if we ever find out that we need to make more, we'll just dedicate more slots to more of the different crops. So let me work on that for a little bit, guys. Uh, get this first one expanded, and we'll keep working on that on camera. I'll see you then. Okay, guys. So I've made myself a couple of test racks here uh, real quick. So let's chuck these down. Now, I'm actually going to put this on uh, owner only, I think. Uh, I think that's actually... Yep. And then we're going to call this, uh, this is going to be our main output of power. So, turn these ones off. Energy mode, send only. That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's call this number one. And let's call it main output. Cool. All right, so that one should be, should be fine. And it's set to owner only, so no one else can access this power anywhere in the world so then let's go take our second one with us and hook it up down underneath now i wanted to test a few things well i'm actually getting a fair bit of server lag just at the moment not to worry though we can keep uh working on now this is <laughs> very much a work in progress guys we're just going to power through and get this functional and then i'll make it look nice and pretty later anyway so let's just hook oh wait wasn't that just the... hang on this is weird <laughs> What happened to my uh, power cables here? Probably chucked them on the ground, did I? Yes, there we go. See, that's weird. Sometimes you get random bugs like that happening uh, when you're playing on a server that you're not really close to anyway. Okay, so let's go along and then... Well, mm, where do I want to put this? Let's chuck it there for now. Okay, so uh, owner only, main output, select that and we'll make it... Receive only for that. Awesome. So now we should be getting power here, which we are. And I've already made some upgrades for this, uh, the copper upgrades. So let's go ahead. Now I want to see whether or not I actually need the water source block around here uh, for this. So let's just chuck these in the planner and see. If I don't need the water source block, that's great. But we'll see, I guess. If I could just jump out. <laughs> All right. Yep. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Awesome. Okay, that's good. Good news. Okay, I can stop them from uh, getting planted now. Um, next thing, we're going to have to... Oh, I don't want the test rack there because I'll have to 
route it. That's alright, we can move it. Not to worry. Um, I don't want to put this. Probably right here. That'll do. Okay, next thing will be the item ducts. So, uh, the plan is, because we're going to have nine different crops going here, we're going to have to have 18 of these barrels set up somewhere. Now, I don't know whether I want them in the wall here so I can get them uh, while standing on the crops or anything. In the long run, what we're going to be doing is sending everything back to the main base through some sort of chest or tesseract or something. Not really quite sure at the moment, but I think for now what we'll do, just because I want to get this done relatively quickly, is we'll set these barrels up here. So, um, one we're going to want the seeds in, and the other we're going to want the essence in. So, now we're going to run our item ducts along here. Hopefully it's not too dark down here for mobs to be spawning. Let's chuck a few of these down just in case. Um, and then what we'll have is the item ducts running along the back here, and then down the wall, like so, and pretty much exactly how we had them set up last time. So, except on the filter, oh, just nearly enough. Um, yeah, except on the filter on this that we install, we're going to have nine different uh, white listed items here. So, that is the plan. Let me grab a few more things here and do a little bit more work on this so then I can uh, show you guys what I actually want to happen. So, yeah. Alright, I went ahead and upgraded all of these impulse item ducts. Ah, the item ducts to impulse item ducts. Essentially, they just send the items through a lot quicker and you can actually see through them uh, at the items now, which is awesome. Okay, so I've got my nine different seeds here and we're going to set these up uh, in the filter here. So, whitelist, uh, iron, gold, emerald, ferrous, certus quartz, lead, silver, tin, and copper. Now, I would have liked to have diamonds on here, but we ran out of space. So, uh, yeah, that's what ended, ha ended up happening. So, uh, gold seeds in that filter, iron, ferrous, certus quartz, um, lead again. So yeah, pretty much just signing different spots for all of them. All right, which one did I miss? <laughs> uh, did I put emerald? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, and the next thing is we'll put all of the seeds in their own barrels as well, just to uh lock them all up. Uh, I'll have to monitor this for the next little while though. To actually, let's put this in some sort of order. Um, so we'll go. Iron. Um, but yeah, we'll put it... Hang on, I totally just forgot what I was going to say. Uh, that tends to happen sometimes, I guess. Uh, that should be tin. Block that one. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to have to monitor this t uh, for all the essence that will come down here over the next little bit, just to make sure they've all got their own little spot to go to. Even though I could set most of these up already anyway. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. But next thing will be... Uh, we're going to put our time torches down, so I'll quickly do this now, because we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode. Uh, where am I going to put these exactly, though? That's the next question. Hmm. Are they just going to float in midair? Probably not. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's go one here, set him to Hyper, and we'll set one... Is that on the same? Set this guy here as well. Oh, nope, can't put it on the side of the barrel. What about on top? Maybe not. Oh, let's just put a temporary block down then. If that's the case. Set this one to hyper as well. So they're both on the same side. I think we're going to try and aim for two on these. Just because we can. Um, ooh. What got planted there? Um, that's interesting. I don't think I've... Iron. Oh, I must have. Oh, wait. Is this harvesting this as well? Wow, that is interesting. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> At least it's getting iron in there. Uh, and you can see that the iron is... Or all of the essence is going into the wrong barrels here. So, uh, yeah, that's what I mean by I'm going to have to uh, monitor this uh, over time here to make sure that everything's going in the right spots. But that is probably going to do it for this episode, guys. Um... 
Let me just think of anything else I could probably do here. Probably not really, except just dump all this in and let it go. So let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just watch this over the next little bit, but wow, the frame rate <laughs> drop is real. Oh dear, but you can see how quickly it's growing everything here and uh, how quickly we're going to be getting resources. Oh, oh that's, that's the thing. Um, trash can. I'm going to put this once I've got all of the essences sorted out. This is going to go at the end of the line. Wow, the frame rate lag is getting quite big. Maybe I should turn this off for now. Um, have I got a lever? No, I don't. Alright, we'll just bear with it. But we're going to put a trash can at the end of the line here. So if any of these get full, I'll just uh, they'll go straight into a trash can and let everything else grow as well, which is really important. Otherwise, we'll run out of inventory slots and the whole thing will get jammed. So, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed uh, what should lead to a lot of... Uh, storage and stuff and the end of our sort of issues with um, getting items and resources for the rest of the let's play hopefully uh, we'll see if we'll need to extend any of these more uh, down the track either as well so yeah that's gonna do it thanks guys for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that like button if you've enjoyed my name's Vince Norsby see you next time